Hi, I am Apoor Bhapat working with Altair Engineering. Today in this video I am going to cover uh, how to generate 2D meshing even without having a surface. That is, we will see different panels available in HyperMesh through which you can generate uh, 2D elements uh, even though you don't have surfaces or if you have, if you want to generate 2D elements with, by using lines, nodes or edges what are the different panels available so we will see in this video so in this video uh, we are going to learn the basic concept of surface lash meshing and how to mesh a bracket surface lash meshing is defined as uh, the creation of mesh using points lines and nodes rather than surfaces some parts have uh, may have missing surfaces and some parts may not have uh, any surfaces at all and are in, instead defined by the lines. Either way a mesh still must be created. Hypermesh has a number of panels that allow you to create a mesh based on geometry other than surfaces. So first of all we will select uh, the user profile as radius. So I will select the user profile as radius and say OK. Then I will load the model in HyperMesh GUI. So to load the model, click on open folder. In open folder, select the location where your model has been loaded. So your model has been uploaded. Now before going further, we will just take a two minute time to view the geometry uh, of the model. So first of all I will click on surfaces, shaded geometry once I click here the surfaces should be visible but it's not there or there are one more option that to view the surfaces so go to compo in model browser go to component panel just on of the surfaces icon so in this way we can see there are only lines are available if you click meshed this is, these are the only lines so I will change the color of the lines I'll say white or, or something else like black so you can change it from here just right click on the color palette and select the color so it will be more visible so this is my model which only contains the lines uh, nothing else so I, now we will see what are the different panels available in hypermesh through which you can generate the meshing even without having surfaces we will only use lines points to generate the and nodes to generate the 2D elements. Okay, so first of all, as uh, we'll start from the top, as you can see, there are on top there are three concentric circles. On the top of the screen, you are uh, if you are able to see, there are three concentric circles. Two of them are having washer, but one is not having a washer. So to generate a washer for the third one, we will use a panel named as a scale so uh, we will create a concentric circle around a hole on a top face using a scale panel so there are three circles on the upper region of the bracket representing three holes in the bracket two of the holes have concentric circles around them this configuration allows you to create a radial mesh pattern around the holes the following step will show you how to create a concentric circles around the third hole so we will first create the concentric circle around the third hole. So to create a concentric circle around the third hole, go to tools page. In tools page you will find a scale panel. We will use a scale panel to generate uh, one more concentric circle around this third hole. So I will go to scale panel. Once you go to scale panel, you can scale anything like nodes, elements, components, lines, surfaces. But here we have lines, so I will scale this line. And also I have to provide an origin with respect to uh, that origin node, it will scale using a factor, a scale factor. So before providing, uh, going further, I need to create a circle center. And with that circle center as the origin, I will generate a uh, scale or uh, means I will generate the third concentric circle around this hole. So I will first go to return and 
first of all I will need to create a circle center so to create circle center I will go to geometry page in geometry page select distance panel or you can click on F4 from your keyboard to generate uh, to go to distance panel so I'll select the distance panel if I click return and press F4 from my keyboard then also I will uh, I can enter to the distance panel now I will select three nodes option by selecting the radio button uh, for the three nodes panel in three nodes I will click on the line until the plus icon converted into a box one so the line will be highlighted and select any three arbitrary nodes around the circumference of the circle once all the three nodes get selected then I will click on circle center so once the three nodes will get selected then click on circle center once you click on circle center you can see the circle center has got generated so now I will click return to exit the distance panel again I will go to tools page in tools page I will select scale now I will pick the line select the node and on uniform I will select two as to scale this as a factor of two and I will click on scale positive so if I click on scale positive it will scale the original line but I want to scale one different line and make this original circle as it is so I will again click on scale negative to move back into original position then I will click on lines and click on duplicate once I click on duplicate it will create a duplicate line on that on this particular circle once I click on scale plus so it will scale the duplicate circle which has been created once I have clicked in duplicate so in this way I have created three concentric circles around the three holes now I'll move to the next topic so before going to the next topic I will click return to exit the scale panel so I will click return then uh, I will go to 2d page and now we will see how to generate 2d meshing using spline command so I will use spline panel in 2d page to generate 2d meshing using lines so I will click on spline, spline panel from the drop box select line from this drop box you will find there are four options available to generate mesh first is mesh keep surface second is mesh delete surface third one is mesh without surface these three options will provide you uh, uh, will help you to generate meshing as well as surfaces but the last option that is surface only will help you to generate surfaces with the help of lines so the first option is mesh keep surface in this option if you pick this option it will generate the meshing and it will keep the surface that is by this uh, option you can generate the surface and meshing both in the second option that is mesh delete surface it will generate mesh and first it by the help of those lines which you will provide it will generate a surface and on that that surface it will generate a meshing once it will generate the meshing it will delete the surface which it has created now on the third option that is mesh without surface once you provide the lines or nodes it will join the lines or if you provide the lines it will create a nodes as per the global element size and then it will connect the nodes uh, by creating elements but in this it will not generate surfaces and in the fourth option it will only generate the surface it will not generate the meshing so I will pick the option as mesh delete surface because I don't want surfaces to be created so I will pick these two lines and say create once you click create you can see your meshing 
has got created so you can see here so you can change the number of edge to equal so the equal amount of elements will get created I'll change the color of the component so you can see again I will select these two lines say create I will change the number of nodes for the interior circle by left clicking on it say return again I will select these two panels say create change the number of node by left clicking on the number and say mesh again and then return so in this way I have meshed all the three holes even though I don't have surfaces now I will select the lines outer lines and also the inner lines and say create so in this way by providing only the lines I have generated a 2D mesh I have entered to mesh edit panel from here I can edit the meshing by changing the density changing the mesh style by changing biasing factor so I can do that also but I will accept this meshing and say return so in this way I have done with the spline panel to generate the mesh for the top surfaces now I will move to the next panel that is line drag by using this panel I will show you how to generate 2D meshing using one more panel available in hyper mesh that is line drag so first of all I will click return to exit the spline option and in same 2D page you will find line drag option line drag panel line drag panel is also used to generate 2D mesh so in line drag panel make sure you are on drag geometry option by selecting the radio button of drag geometry select the drag option uh, you can select either lines or nodes to drag so I can select line also so I want to drag the line on this along the line so provide the line along the length you want to drag it so I want I will select this so along this line drag the surfaces so the meshing will be generated along the this length so you can see along this length the mesh will get generated I will keep the option as mesh without surface and also I will keep the vectors as use default vector and just click on drag once you click on drag you can see it has generated 2d elements by dragging this edge along this particular edge so in this way it has generated the mesh now uh, I will move to the next pattern uh, before that I will click return to exit uh, exit the mesh edit panel and accept this meshing again I will click return to exit the line drag panel now uh, I will use one more option available in hyper mesh to generate 2d meshing uh, this option is called ruled by using ruled you can generate mesh even though if you have if you don't have surfaces so in 2d page itself in 2d page itself you will find rule panel so rule panel is used to generate mesh even without having surfaces that is 2d meshing so in rule panel also you will find that four options that is mesh keep surface mesh delete surface mesh without surface and surface only so I will pick surface only in this and select these nodes and from these nodes to the opposite line in rule option you have to provide the opposite edges one edge if you select this edge as the nodes or lines uh, then the opposite to this edge you have to select the 
opposite edge of that particular line or node. So I will click on create. So once I click create, it will create a 2D mesh using the ruled option. So in this way, ruled option has created a 2D elements. Now I will click on return to accept this meshing. Again I will click return to exit the rule panel. Now I will show you one more panel available in hypermesh that is on 2D page you will find skin panel. This panel is also used to generate 2D elements by using lines or nodes. So I click on uh, skin and I will select these two lines. This time I will click on mesh keep surface so that uh, I can show you that uh, it will generate a surface as well as meshing both. So I will click create. So once I click create it will it has generated meshing. Now I will click return to accept this mesh. You can also edit that meshing also that's not the issue by mesh edit panel and then click return. So in this way my complete model has got generated. Now I'll just take few more minutes to uh, view this model. So I will first off the meshing. Once you off the meshing by geometry uh, by model browser clicking on the icon. If you click on this icon it will on and off the geometry elements. So if I off the elements visualization you will see in this area it has generated the surfaces. And if I off the surface and on the meshing so you can see my complete meshing of this particular component has got generated. So in this way my complete model has got meshed even without I if even with I don't have any surfaces. So even without having surfaces you can do meshing by using these different panels available in hypermesh that is rule, spline, skin, line drag and drag. So in this tutorial we have covered how to do 2D meshing that is how to generate 2D elements using different panels available in hypermesh that is rule, spline, skin, drag and line drag. Also we have seen how to edit the geometry or how to scale a particular line or surfaces using a scale factor. Also we have seen how to generate a circle center using distance panel. So in this way we have ended uh, this video. Thank you very much.